Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, what we're going to do in this video today is create a media slider using YouTube videos. Really easy with the Elementor. We're using Elementor Pro for this. You can download Elementor Free and Elementor Pro from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new page. Now I'll just call it video. Now because we're using the Elementor and I want it to be a full width type page, we need to go down to our template here and change it from default template to Elementor full width. That will allow us to fill the whole area. Now let's hit the edit with Elementor button. So now we're in here, let's go down and find our media carousel. Here it is right here. I'm going to simply left click on it and drag it to where I want to put it. And as you can see, it's automatically put in actually five slides for us. When we get off of it, it should start revolving. There we go. Now, instead of using images, which we quite often do, we're going to use YouTube videos for this one today. Really easy to do. So here's our five slides. I'm actually going to make six. So let's just hit the duplicate button there to create the sixth one. Click on the first one that you want to end, edit and let's select video. Now you simply have to go to your YouTube channel or YouTube and select the video URL of the, the video you'd like to put there. Copy it and paste it in there. <coughs> now as you can see there's a play icon there now but we need to put a thumbnail in to represent the video itself because these will open in light boxes. So I'm going to click on there to choose an image and I've got six images for my six slides. I'm going to go ahead and upload them all at once. And there's my first one right there. And as you can see, it's filled that in. And of course, we want to do exactly the same for the second one. Simply click on item number two, choose video, put in the URL, then add the image. Now, there's no point you watching me rinse and repeat all these, so I'll put the rest of them in there. And I'll unpause when I've done that. Okay, so I've put the last one in there. And as you can see, we've got six of them now. If we look at this now, those will open in a light box. But let's go through the other settings. You can have different effects if you want to down here. But that'll change it from having three columns there to having single ones. You can fade or cube. Now slides per view. The default is what we've got at the moment. You could have four if you wanted to. It's quite nice. I think I'm going to leave minus three as I've got six. Slides to scroll. Well, the default, it's sort of scrolling one at a time here. We just let it scroll. If you wanted to change it to three, it would do three every time. And as you see, you've only got two buttons there now because there's six and so it's only doing it twice. I'm going to leave mine at the default because I quite like it doing them one at a time. Now you can set the height and width here. I'm going to leave mine exactly as it is because that, that works perfectly for me. And if we look in advanced options, you can customize your arrows and your dots right here. Turn autoplay on and off. I like mine to be on so it just revolves when people are looking at it. Autoplay speed, 5,000 milliseconds or 5 seconds. You can change that to whatever you want. Infinite loop means it's just going to keep going round and round again rather than stopping when it gets to the end. That works for me. Pause on hover, I think that's a great idea because it gives people a chance to read the titles. If they put their mouse over it, it's going to just stop and they can read whatever they want. I think that's a good idea, so I'm going to leave that. Pause in interaction again if they do anything like this. 
move it along it'll pause I think that's a great idea now at the moment we've got no overlay I don't know if I want an overlay on there you could put one if you wanted to there and what we've done at the moment you see it's overlaying and you can choose a text or an icon choose whichever icon you want to put there and it'll put that icon with you if you choose text you can use choose the title of the image and mine are just called one two three four five six as you can see that one's six that one's one it's just putting in the title of the image um, you can put a caption in which will be the description of the image or the title as well if you want to and the animation for the overlay is fade at the moment but I really don't want an overlay on mine so I'm going to put that back to none image size is full and I've got it set to cover which is fine if you've got a smaller image you might want it to repeat or contain so that's all good if we go to our styling you can set the space between them as more or less again 10 for me works out fine you can give the whole thing a background color if you want to for me I think they stand out just great like that at the moment if you want to you can give them a border kind of hard to see but it's got a two pixel border and it's but a five pixel border and you should be able to see easier there you go it's got that five pixel dark border on there I don't think I really want a border on there that's an option if you want it and you can make them rounded corners if you wish you see they've gone slightly rounded there now I put a little border radius on there let's reset that to zero of course you can set your border color and the padding navigation here's where you set the size and color of your arrows and your pagination which is the little dots right here let's just out of interest make the pagination a different color there we go it's now blue I don't know if you can see that or not and of course you can increase or decrease the size A light box that's the effect that's going to happen when they actually click on the play icon up here it's going to pop out into what they call a light box which is a sort of almost full screen image with a dark background so it stands out you can change the color UI color and hover color and the video width now I'm going to leave mine exactly as they are because I, it works absolutely fine so what I'll do now is we'll quickly look at the advanced settings here you set the margin and padding for top and bottom don't really need to do any of that Z index is how far forward it is for instance if you had another element that it was on top of and the other element was coming in front of this one you'd want to pull this forward with the Z index by giving it a higher number don't need a CSS ID CSS classes are for targeting it, targeting it with CSS of course you've got motion effects um, I'm going to leave mine as the default which is a bit of a fade in but you've all got all kind of different effects you can have it do to fade in when it first appears background color border positioning responsiveness all pretty self-explanatory responsive is how it looks like on different devices and you can choose whether you actually want to show this on a desktop or on a tablet or on a mobile now we're not using custom CSS or attributes at the moment so let's go ahead and hit the little eyeball icon here and take a look at it and there we are that's quite a cool little slider or carousel right there let's click on one of these and it should open in a light box and play the video and there we have it let's close that out and it'll do the same for all of those so that's really easy to do with Elementor like I say it's a wonderful wonderful page builder so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell share comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have 
a great day.